We do a large number of kidney transplants here in North Carolina, but uh, numbers aren't everything. Every time we see a patient, we want to make sure it works for you. We want to make sure we can get you through the process, you know, with all the complexities or unique things that are unique to you. What are your hopes and dreams? What do you hope to uh, be able to do in the future after you get your kidney transplant? Uh, what are your fears or concerns? We have wealth of experience with kidney transplant and we will do everything possible to get you a kidney transplant. The process was amazing and flawless and it made you feel at home. You just lay back and go, okay, I'm in great hands, you know, and at Duke, I was in great hands. I've always trusted Duke with my health care and I did not have any doubts that, that this was the right place to come. We have an active research program and what that really means is that uh, we have access to maybe new ideas or new therapies. Some of these research programs would not be available at other centers. The whole goal is to make transplant work for someone uh, where it otherwise may be quite complicated. We know that a lot of our patients who need a kidney transplant don't just have a kidney problem, they may have other things going on. And we do feel comfortable with complex patients and complex scenarios. I've met patients with sickle cell disease or HIV who are turned away at other centers. We feel very comfortable uh, transplanting patients with those conditions. We also meet a lot of patients who are kept off transplant waiting lists due to uh, maybe their, their body size or weight. And here at Duke, we do have access to uh, weight loss specialists, weight loss clinics, and even bariatric surgery clinics. And we are more than happy to help refer patients to our experts to help you uh, lose enough weight to get on our waiting list. One thing that we do excel in is multi-organ transplant. So we have a lot of patients who not only need a kidney, but they need something else, like maybe a heart transplant or a liver transplant or a lung transplant. So Duke is one center that does combined organ transplants. Um, and we do a fair amount in our region. And so we welcome any patient who needs help and needs a life-saving transplant, and we will do our best to make it happen. So if you are coming in for your eval day for pre-transplant, you want to get signed up for a kidney transplant, you're going to come in, we educate you on our whole program, what it takes to get listed, and then we'll do some consents, and then you'll meet with almost every member of the team. You'll meet with a transplant nephrologist, a surgeon, social worker, finance, and then your transplant coordinator. The nice thing is that you get it all done in one day. Having a coordinator is really important because you might not know what you don't know. And so that's our job is to use all of our expertise and experience to help advocate for you, get you the testing that you need, get you extra resources that you didn't even know to ask for, um, to get you through this process successfully. It's just an extra, extra pair of hands to help you out. I was assigned an excellent post-transplant coordinator who was totally on the ball and kept me making sure that I did all of the things that I needed to do. Living donation is a excellent, it's the best uh, transplant option available and so we do uh, go out of our way to try and help our patients find living donors. Uh, we're very quick with our turnaround time for getting donors evaluated and seen at Duke. We have an entire living donor team who can help uh, shepherd donors and uh, potential recipients through the process of living donation. Uh, we try uh, any means necessary to find potential uh, paired exchanges or other ways around uh, incompatibility, so to speak. And so uh, we do know that living donation is a wonderful option and we want to make it work for you. The process at Duke is so straightforward. The information is, is out there as to how the surgery is done, what you can look forward to, uh, they were very candid with me, and so I felt, I felt confident. I knew I was confident in, in my own personal intentions and my readiness for this. If it's a living donor, they have to go through a whole evaluation to make sure that they're healthy, they get scanned. If it's a deceased donor kidney, they do biopsies, they do lab work, they test to see if there's HIV, Hep B, Hep C, any viral illnesses. They look at what the cause of death was for the donor. So there's a lot of extensive testing that happens before we even get the offer. And then once we get the offer, when the kidney comes, a lot of times we get pathology slides and biopsy slides in the lab work that we look at again here in our lab uh, to make sure it still looks good. The doctors and the, and the surgical team at Duke are so experienced and professional. I just got in there and they took care of everything. The only request I had is that they play music during the surgery. 
and they said, I heard you were a jazz singer. And he was like, what'd you like to hear? I said, some jazz. So they played jazz throughout the whole operation, throughout the old transit. I was, it was amazing to go pass out to Ella Fitzgerald, you know, it was just awesome. So once you come in for your surgery, you do your surgery, you will get assigned an inpatient transplant coordinator. Their job is to round with the team, they come and check on you, they do education with you, teach you about what medications you're going to be on when you go home, get you a pillbox, set you up with your new medication schedule, set you up for clinic visits and lab visits for when you go home, and get you set up for success for everything you need for that immediate um, period at home. Then when you're discharged, you'll get the information for your post-transplant coordinator, your third and final one, and that person is with you till the rest of time. It does take some work, and uh, the work is required is just coming to clinic to see us, getting lots of blood work and taking medications, but that's what we do. Our job is to help you through that, educate you about everything along the way, and explain what we're doing and why we're doing it. I was totally amazed by the staff at Duke. I mean, every single person that I came in contact with that was a part of this process here was, was just amazing and kind and gentle and helpful. They made you feel special. They gave you uh, their undivided attention and, and cared for you. It's one of the best care I've ever received. We know that you're more than just the kidney that we gave you. You're more than just the, the hundredth kidney of the year, right? We know that you're actually, you know, a mother, a daughter, a father, a sister, a brother, a school teacher, a scientist. But we're happy to get to know you and give you a great kidney that will work really well.